The Flow Sports Radio. Matthew Shack in the Flow Sports Radio Show, episode 71. Y'all just saw what happened, man. Finally, this NBA season and this NBA final is in the books. The Golden State Warriors regain the NBA title with a 129-120 win in game five, led by the finals MVP, Kevin Durant. He finally got that first ring, man. 39 points. 14 of 20 shooting, 5 of 8 from 3, 6 of 6 from the line, followed by 34 by Steph Curry, who showed up in a big way, by far his best game that he had all series, shooting 10 of 20, 50%, even though he was 2 of 9, and but he made uh, 12 of 15 threes, followed by uh, Clay, uh, uh, Clay Thompson with 11, but Andrew Iguodala, man, had 20 points coming off the bench, and, and, and it was just a situation where the Cavaliers were finally outgunned. There was nothing they could do, man. Uh, this is the fin- This is the final of no excuses, but we gotta talk about it. We gotta talk about what ha- didn't happen on the Cleveland Cavaliers side. Once again, LeBron James, 41 points, 19 to 30 points, 19 to 30, two of five from three. And after that, it was a uh, precipitous drop off with uh, Kyrie Irving with 26. You know what I'm saying? But he shot 9 of 22. He shot the same exact shooting uh, uh, field goal uh, uh, attempts that KD shot last game. 9 of 22. J.R. Smith did the damn thing. 7 of 8 threes. But Kevin Love, man. Kevin Love was 2 of 8 for 6 points. You can't have that out of your starting power forward. You are not going to get that done. If Kevin Kevin Love would have did something... Maybe they would have been in this game, but probably not. And then the bench. The bench collectively for the Cleveland Cavaliers had seven points, man. Seven points ain't getting nothing done, dog. Seven points is getting nothing done. Because if you go and look at uh, Golden State's bench, Patrick McCaw had six points. So him by himself, he almost had as much points as, as, as the Cleveland Cavaliers. But we ain't gonna, we're not gonna do anything else but give Golden State their props. Tonight was the first time that I saw the referees allow these cats play, allow these cats to play. You know what I'm saying? But then again, they wanted to get the game five so they can get that bonus. You know what I'm saying? But that's just me, man. I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say what I think. But at the end of the day, man, it doesn't matter. Series is over, man. And now it's all about the offseason. And this is basically like the Cold War going on between these two teams. It's like Russia versus the United States. It's the arms race. It's the nuclear arms race. Last year, uh, uh, your boy Draymond Green was in the parking lot. Yo, KD, man, um, you, you need to get, get rid of that Russell Westbrook cat and come over and play with us. Look what happened. They win a title. If y'all think LeBron James ain't going to make some phone calls and he ain't in the parking lot right now or in the locker room, yo, Paul, let's make this happen. Yo, Jimmy Buck, let's make this happen. That's what has to happen now. That's what this league is about, man. The NBA is all about recruiting your friends and people who can come in and help you get that ring. Because if they don't do something, Golden State's going to make it happen for years to come. But they're going to reload just like Golden State reload. So we got to wait a whole 365 days to see what happens, man. But guess what that means? Football, football's coming back, and that's all I really care about. You know what I'm saying? But until then, game on. Game on. Stir crazy productions, baby. When my grandmama gave me that chain. What chain? Yeah, what chain? <laughs> 